who was on the phone with you third round of the 2013 draft? Where were you? Walk me through that as we're getting ready for another NFL draft. Yeah, 2013. Arkansas Pine Bluff, right? Arkansas Pine Bluff. Okay, so Arkansas Pine Bluff. not many, not many uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff yeah. players in the NFL. No. Uh, so I got this clip, this the clip that kind of went viral, which I which I needed to get my name and exposure. Was you was calling my 40, and uh, I take off you and I think Mike Mayock. Mm-hmm. So you guys gave me some. Some some praise, hype me. I needed all of it in order to get, to get drafted. That's that's how I felt. So, uh, fast forward to to the draft process. I'm at my mom's apartment in in Central Illinois, Southern Illinois, and I get a call from Mickey Loomis. Mickey Loomis, he he, he say, "Are you you ready to be a saint?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah, I am." I talked to him. I talked to Sean. What was Sean saying to you? What did he say? What's it like? But you, you get Sean Payton on the other end of the line, and he's drafting you. It was so many. I probably talked to six people. Yeah. So it, it, brief conversations with with everyone. But Sean, just you know, we're excited to have you. Can't wait to, for you to get here. I didn't know Sean was gonna just like destroy my, just talk bad to me when I got there. But what do you mean? Sean's tough, man. Sean was a tough coach. Well, he comes from the Parcells uh, mold. Absolutely. So he was. Yeah. What? What? What are you willing to share though? What he was, how he was coaching you? Uh... He's just tough. Sean's tough. Anybody that's ever played for him, especially in those years, like as my our later years together, Sean was way more personable. Mm-hmm. Um, he valued relationships. Like me and Sean are close. That's I love him to death. That's my guy. Those first four, five, I couldn't say the same. Like it was, it was just. He was a tough coach. He created an environment that made you be on top of every little detail every day, which is is great as you're developing and growing into your own. Mm-hmm. It's tough, and it was it was it was an environment that challenged everybody from the cafeteria staff to the groundskeepers to every, people. Tell you, Sean is a tough general. He mm-hmm. is. I'll share a story. Um, my first preseason game, we got the Chiefs in New Orleans. I'm out of Arkansas Pine Bluff, like we said. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out my way. And the coach, O-line coach, teaching me this little technique, this new technique. I'm, I'm going to try it. We get, in the, we get in the game. So I get in, I check in third quarter. We run outside zone to the left. To me, inside the defensive end spikes inside, right? So he spikes inside the B-gap. Hits the running back, running back, ugh, fall forward, no yard gain. We run two, three more plays. We come off the sideline. Sean is going crazy. I don't know who he's talking to, though, but he's he's on the sideline. He's... So I get to the sideline. I sit down. Oh, he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so he come, he, he, he I'm, I'm talking about he, he gets in my face. He's like, I don't know if you belong here. I don't know if you're good enough to be here. The guys you played against, they're selling insurance right now. I I don't know. I don't know if you're you're good enough. But but that wasn't. And I'm like, I don't know either, Sean. Really? At this point, I don't. I don't know either. But it was a But you didn't say that to him, right? I didn't say nothing. I'm okay. like, okay, yes, sir. I'm let me go get my stuff together. But at at that moment it was such a sink or swim moment. And he challenged people like that. That was that was it. Like how are how are you gonna respond? Are you gonna go out and show that you are show and prove or are you gonna fold? And I could have folded because at that moment, it's my first preseason game out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. I didn't know. And that was the last time that we ever had that that type of interaction. What if somebody come up to that kid on the bench and say you're gonna have twelve years at least? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been able to see it. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to see it. It just would. It didn't. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I didn't have that foresight at the at the moment. How long did it take to click? Do you have a moment when it clicked? Yeah. Um, rookie year. Later in the year, Sean did. Sean didn't like to play rookies because he's all, he's all about building trust. Like you have to show that you belong. Yeah. Uh huh. And. I'm practicing hard. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm going hard. I'm learning the techniques. I got the offense down. And uh, he called me to the office. He said, it's time. I've been, he's, I've been waiting. 
for this. Like I've been waiting for your development. I've challenged you. You've answered. You're the starting left tackle. And uh, nine years in a row. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 